right. Let's move that. So what we're going to do is, after the recent video I made, I noticed my audio was absolutely dreadful. And when I did, I brought a new in helmet microphone, which was this Power Device. It was highly recommended on Amazon. It had fantastic reviews. Uh, but what I found for my voice is it's popping and it is distorting and this is with the voice open so if I close the voice we'll see if there's any difference in sound which I'd imagine it's a probably a lot more bass and a lot more booming and I think this mic is distorting too much compared to the microphone I had with the drift camera which is the drift standards mic and I think I don't think it's that this microphone is poor quality I think this microphone is more sensitive so I think it picks up the frequencies a lot more uh, my voice being very deep I think this is picking up more of the bass and I don't think this microphone is designed really to be this close to your mouth where the microphone literally touches your mouth inside a motorcycle helmet so I think being that close it is way this microphone is way too sensitive so what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the mic and I'm going to put my original drift mic in and we'll compare the difference. So, ooh, right then, okay. So that's now back with the drift mic installed. So I'm hoping there is a massive difference. So at least I knew before what I was recording. So here we go. Let's have a look. So looking at the actual microphone, the more expensive one, it doesn't look any more different. So it's got extra connectors and that, so hmm, I'm not convinced. But I do imagine the Power Device mic is a very good mic. So what I might use that for is a bit of off-bike filming. So obviously if I've using a camera externally, moving it around. I can always use that mic and have it here on my chest somewhere and use it that way because obviously it's a lot more sensitive. So I think when looking at these external mics, I think going for a more expensive, better quality one is not always the answer because I'd imagine they are a lot more sensitive. So, and I think being that close to your mouth where it's literally touching your lips inside a motorcycle helmet I suppose any mic is going to struggle with that kind of volume going into it so I think these more expensive ones obviously they're doing the job they're picking up frequencies more and volume so I think the one what came with the drift camera is the perfect mic and I think drift probably knew this knowing that a majority of these microphones are going to be inside an helmet so maybe their frequencies was maybe narrowed the band or you know sensitivity was slightly less to compensate for this but anyhow i'm back to my drift mic so that's just proved a point the more expensive mic with the more reviews doesn't always mean it's going to work perfect for motorcycle motor vlogging where the drift camera and their mic does the job This is testing the Power Device mic with the visor open. One, two, three, four, five. Talking at normal volume. One, two, three, four, five. Visor down. One, two, three, four, five. At normal volume. One, two, three, four, five. So that's the voice with the visor open. That's the voice with the visor down. Testing my volume of my voice at normal talking. One, two, three, four, five. Visor down one two three four five. Visor up one two three four five. And I know from this mic, obviously when I do have other videos, I know how my voice is going to come out on it, and it comes out a lot cleaner than this. There you go. Just a little video. See you next time. Bye.